Alright guys, so in this video, you will be learning how to turn your Windows 11 computer to look like Mac OS as you guys can see on the screen right now. And guys, all the timestamps will be down in the description because this video will be a pretty long video and if you want to skip to a, a specific part, you can check the uh, timestamps in the description. Anyways, let's start the video. So first, you need to download the Rocket Dock software, so I'll be uh, put all the links down in the description so you can click them and download this app. So after you in this website, you're gonna click on download right here. And then you click the second link and it will lead you to this Debian art page right here. So from here, you just gonna download this uh, macOS taskbar. And if you don't have a Debian art account, it will ask to create an account before you download the uh, this uh, file. So just create an account and download the file. And after you download the files, you simply wanna go to the downloads folder. And then you wanna double click on the record doc application file. And click on yes on this window and you can select your preferable language and click ok next click on i accept next next click on yes and click on next and install it and click on finish and then go to the location where you guys download the taskbar file so then you just extract that file so just extract that with uh, winrar or sunship and after you extract that just open up the extracted folder and simply you know copy these four folders or select them and right click and you know copy that and you know open up your c drive and program files 86 and you need to go to the rocket dog folder and open up the skins folder and right click on this and click on paste and i've already pasted that so i'm just gonna replace them and then you can open up the rocket dog software so just open that up and it's just gonna look something like this but in your case it won't gonna look like this and before you done that you just gonna open up taskbar settings and then um, you need to turn this off all this option off and then you wanna open up taskbar behaviors and you wanna change this to left and then you wanna check uh, and then you wanna tick on automatically hide the taskbar and after you've done that to make your taskbar look like this you simply want to right click on this and you click on dock settings and after that you want to go to this tile tab and you want to click on the drop down and you select the big sur rounded light theme and then you want to change the opacity of that to 25 just like that and after that go to the position tab and change the screen position to the bottom and click ok and after you've done that let's see how to import these um, icons or the softwares to this dock and at default it'll give you some default icons so to uh, remove them just right click on that and you just gonna click on delete item and just gonna delete that and then to change your icons to look like mac os all you guys need to do is you right click on that and you go to icon settings and then you click on the plus and you need to go to your downloads folder you know open up this folder that you just extracted and you know open up the mac os big icons folder and select that and click ok and after done that it led this it, it led that folder right here so you simply just gonna click on that and you can select the icon so in this case you can select the, this pc icon so i'm just gonna select this one right here or you can select this one so i'm just gonna select the black one and click ok and it applies the same thing for the recycle bin and stuff all right guys so now let's see how you can add these default uh windows apps and other softwares to this uh, dock so simply you click on windows and r on your keyboard and you type as shell colon apps folder and you're gonna click ok and it'll open up this little window right up here and then you can select a software that you want to pin to the dock so in this case i'm going to use this uh, with us of, uh, app so you know, right click on that and click on create a shortcut and click yes on this window and after that uh, you can just pin this to your uh, dock like that and if you just click that it'll say something like this so how to fix that is simply just gonna right click on that and you click on icon settings and right here in the target you know type as shell and colon and you type as apps folder and this uh thing this should just type that and then you can select the icon so go to the pack and then simply just select the icon so you just can select this one and click ok and now if you just open that up it's just gonna open up the beta just like that 
and simply you can just do the same thing to the other um, application and now let's see how to uh, add that dropout so all you guys need to do is you wanna click the third link and it'll lead to the rain meet app so you just can download rain meter so just click on download and then also download the dropout so just click on click here to download and download that one too and then just open up this pc and open up your download folder and then you double click on rain meter click on ok and simply just install rain meter and after you install rain meter uh, load some widgets on your screen so simply just right click on that widget and you click on unload skin and then just unload all of that skins and after doing that again you open up your folder and you double click on the dropout file just downloaded and you click on install and after that you can select your language and click on next and select always shown uh, always show dropout and click next and select spotify or whatever the media player you want to have and again click on the next and then as the home button you can choose the apple logo and you can select the small uh, size and click next you can select the default one and you can click next again select the free and click next and click on maybe later on this and now it will add that drop out right here as you guys can see now it is added to the top of your screen and then you can click on this and go up to drop out settings and go on color and transparency and then you can do that and just gonna look like this and after that you just gonna click the other link and it will lead you to the power toys uh, download link and simply just scroll down and you click on power toy setup file and download that up and after that just go to the location where you guys download the file and then you just double click on the power toy setup and click on next next and install it and simply just open up the power toys uh, app when installing features like you need a net .net core or something like that can also click the other link it will which will lead you to this page uh, page right up here so then just gonna click on windows x64 and then download the file and install it and it'll fix that issue uh, regarding the power toys and then you go open up the power toys app and also go up to uh, power toys run and then you enable the power toys run right here and you can select a, a shortcut if you want and if you press windows and space it'll load this up and now you can type as file explorer you can just open that up just like that and now to um, make your taskbar look transparent all you guys need to do is gonna open up the other link which will lead to this page uh, page right up here and then you scroll down and you click on portable x64 and it'll download as a zip folder so just open that up so i'm just gonna go where i saved that and then simply extract the zip folder so just extract that and then you'll see a, fo a file called taskbar configurator just and double click on that and it'll open up this uh, window you know select transparent click on apply and now as you guys can see your taskbar is transparent and you can close this window and now you can uh, close all of these windows and then you can right click and you can unpin this up all right guys so i forgot to mention you this that um if you want to change your cursor to your mac os cursor you simply uh download the cursor pack right here just download that up after that you're gonna go to the location where you guys download your cursor so i'm gonna go to my downloads on this folder and you can just extract this folder click extract all and click extract open up the folder and open up this one and right click and you click on show more options and you click on install click on open click on yes and then um you're gonna search for mouse settings and you open up additional mouse options click on pointers click on the drop down right here and select that and click apply and click yes and click ok and your cursor should look like mac os as you guys can see that's how you can customize your windows 11 to look like uh, mac os okay and now let's see how you can uninstall all these up so first let's uninstall the doc so just right click on this and you click on quit after that you can open up the taskbar settings 
and you can open up taskbar behaviors and untick automatically hide the taskbar and make this center again after that you're gonna search for add or remove programs and you should open that up and you gonna search for rock dog and just gonna select this click this and you click on uninstall click on uninstall click on yes click yes and it'll uninstall that after that let's uninstall this one so just right click and you click on more options and you click on exit rain meter after that again open up the add or remove programs and now you need to search for rain meter and uninstall that one too and click on completely remove all personal settings and files click on uninstall and now simply just an open up file explorer go to the location where guys download the taskbox file double click on taskbox configurator go to uninstall click on uninstall click on yes and click ok and it'll uninstall that and if your taskbar looks something like this you can click on control shift and escape and it will and it'll open up your task manager and you're gonna go to the bottom select windows explorer and click on restart and now it should be fixed and after that to uh, remove power toys you again want to open up adorable programs settings and you can select this and you can click on uninstall and uninstall that one too and click on yes and after that again open up your file explorer after that go to your c drive and you can go up to program files 86 and see if you have a folder called a rock doc so if you have that you can select that so you can delete that click on continue and it will delete that and yeah now you can simply just restart your computer and you will be done and yeah guys that is pretty much it for today's video if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on my next video peace